So for the girls who been wanting a pair of really long cargo pants that are denim, get these girls. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So if that is your thing, stay tuned to this video and make sure you are subscribing to the channel. So I'm going to be showing you guys my first haul for 2024. It's not a ton of things, but the items that I do have are pieces that I was looking at for a while and wanted the price to drop. And the other item is something that I just saw on my radar. And the third item is something that I wasn't too sure if I would be able to fit them. You guys know I'm six feet tall for reference for anything in this video. And I actually do wear a size, I wear an 11, a 12, and Jimmy Choo, a freaking 13. <laughs> so let's get into the first item. And these are a pair of cargo pants that I wanted. Um, for a while I've seen the girlies wear them just they were out many many years ago and they came back in style and I just never got a pair solely because most of the jeans were not long enough most of the girls who were buying them were like 5'4 five, 5'5 five, five, like really really short I think the only tall woman damn I don't even think she had a pair of cargo she had another pair um, politics and fashion I believe she's 5'11 or 5'10. I know she's tall. I, I haven't seen her in a pair of pants like this, but I did open them up because I wanted to make sure that I can fit them. And they are the Good American Cargo Pants. Now, let me first start off by, let me come a little closer. So for the girls who been wanting a pair of really long cargo pants that are denim, Get these girls listen usually I try to tell you guys hey get this because I'm six feet tall I already know the struggle that we have out here but baby these these are so freaking long these are about a 36 inch inseam I left my phone downstairs but okay so first of all I'm gonna pop in a video with me with them on and probably with a pair of the shoes that I purchased but these are running for $2.55 from what I've been seeing. I saw some places that were carrying it for like $2.25. Um, but they look slightly different. Also, they look slightly different. So for me, what I like to do if I see something that I like that's a little bit pricey, I'm going to always put it in the Google search just to see who else is carrying the item. Um, that's solely because sometimes these other department stores do have their own sale going on so your girl is all for sale especially if it's for something that I really really want but I'm gonna pop in a video with me with them on but I'm gonna come a little closer they are like a grayish black when you do look them up online they are gonna tell you that they are black they have pockets the bottom of the pants is more of like a wide leg not like a um like a drawstring so if you want if you like something like this definitely go for these it's a little rugged at the bottom like you know really like distressed there are about i want to say like 10 pockets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten pockets i'm including this little tiny one over here uh but very 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 nice pair of pants i got a size 12 so if you don't want to get something that doesn't have a ton of stretch these are not the jeans for you they have only one percent of stretch and that's pretty much nothing guys but i feel it in here so it does help a little bit uh but i got a size 12 which is equivalent to a 31 and i'm almost 100 percent sure that they are a 36 inch inseam which is very very long um i got these from bloomingdale's so again when i put it in the search bar bloomingdale's popped up i hadn't shopped there in years and they actually had a sale so i got these for 168 as opposed to 255 plus tax so i paid in total 168 
So that was good. So now that I'm thinking, maybe they were $2.25. Some places, I think Harrods, Selfridges are selling them for like $2.55. Um, so definitely Google the, the item. I'm going to put it in the description bar for you guys. Google it. Uh, see what comes up for you. Um, and go from there, guys. But they're really, really nice. Actually, this is not a pocket right here. So we're going to scratch this one. It's nine pockets. <laughs> and the rest of them do open up for you. The rest of them do open. Big pockets. So the little one on the side of the leg here is not an actual pocket. But the rest of them are pockets. Really nice. Pants like this and this color, in my opinion, go really, really great with the color red. So, and I'm not saying other colors can't go with it, but red seems to always pop with some sort of like grayish style of pants. So those are the pants that I got. Let me know what you guys think about those. Are you into cargo pants? Did you want to get a pair when the whole hype was going on? Cargo pants are not new, they're old. From a girl who is a Gen Xer, um, I've seen these before. Just These are just kind of like remade um, and just for a newer time. So the other item I got are a pair of shoes from Stuart Weitzman. Now, if you haven't shopped at Stuart Weitzman before, they do go up to a size, I'm going to say a 12. But I always see that they do have a 13 there, but it's never available. So I don't know if someone grabs them right away because I've never seen it available. Actually, I did for a pair of boots. Um, but they do go up to a size 13. As far as the sizing, I think they fit true to size in some of their shoes. They do carry wide in some of their shoes, like their Bailey Nudes um, do come in a wide. These did not. These actually said that they ran large. But I am so glad I sized up to a 12. And that's just because they just looked really narrow. But I'll show you guys those in a second. Stuart Weissman does also have nice strappy sandals. My only issue, all right, let's be transparent. <laughs> My only issue with the Bailey Nude sandals, I would show you guys. Let me grab them and show you. So you can kind of see. Yeah, let me show you guys. I just left the door open. So I wore them once and I kind of felt like, I think the blacks are worse than these. I kind of felt like they were just like, I don't know, like usually when you wear shoes the first time, not much walking, they don't really like do this. And these are actually a size 10 and a half wide. Uh, so they do have wide shoes. Now, do they feel like a true wide? I don't really know. <laughs> um, but they could do a little bit better. But yeah, I got these from them a while ago. Their shoes are not the cheapest for some who don't want to pay a certain amount for shoes. But let me show you guys the shoes that I got. Simple boxing they do come with a dust bag as always it's kind of bright over here let me close this a little bit yeah come with a dust bag just one dust bag but both of the shoes can actually fit in there now if you're not into like points and pumps these are not for you <laughs> but let me tell you guys oh my god I thought these were so freaking cute and they're a Napa leather. So it has like a little, some sort of kind of chrome piece right there. Um, smooth bottom. I think I'm gonna get a thing on them just cause, cause I know how they do. And I did get these in a size 12. These are made in Spain. Let me come a little, just so you guys can actually see. And one thing I like about the heel is that it's going in. If you guys don't know this, when a heel is coming straight up and straight down, it is a lot more pressure on the ball of your foot as opposed to the heel coming in slightly because it's like right under your heel as opposed to the back of your hair. I hope that makes sense. Um, but these are really, really nice. Let me bring out the other one. 
just to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys a picture with me with them on. They're so cute. And they're only, they're like three and a half inches. So, child, I, I'm, I'm all for it. Just a little. It's not kitten, but it's, it's, it's small. They're coming up really, really red on camera. But absolutely really, really nice. Let me just come a little closer. Let's take this out so you guys can see. Okay. So these are them. Little small heel. Now as far as the price, these were actually $4.95 now. Some of you guys are going to be like, oh, that's too much, whatever. You guys buy Christian Louboutins and stuff. Girls with bigger feet, we do have a struggle with finding, like, stylish shoes. Um, and if we do, they're going really fast. Or they don't really run, like, a normal size as far as, like, a size 11. So, for me, these were good. They are Napa leather. So, that's always a plus. Napa leather is always good. Really, they made really well. Um, nothing too crazy. The bottom actually feels really good, and that's probably why they wear so fast, because they feel like, I don't know, they don't feel cheap down there. But yeah, really, really nice. They're so cute. I'm gonna show you guys them with me. I'm gonna show you guys with me wearing them with the pants so you guys can see for reference how um how they look with those type of pants that's probably what i'm gonna wear it with because i do like the color red and this color so it is silver in the front so definitely something that i'm gonna actually wear together um and probably like a nice like leather jacket or something maybe my crop Frankie shop jacket or if I wear the other one it's gonna be a lot of oversized pieces so I'm not too sure if I'm gonna like that but yeah that's it that's what I got from Stuart Weitzman really nice shoes and let me show you guys the other thing that I got now the other item that I got I have been wanting these boots <laughs> for some time. I just had not pulled the trigger. I'm always putting something, but I have not pulled the trigger. It's because they were a little, they were a little pricey, guys. Um, and you guys know I'm a smart shopper. I'm not, I'm not just buying things just to buy them. I'm gonna buy things that actually fit me and my personal style. When I have clients, I do not buy them things that I would wear. I buy them things that look good on their body. So that's that. Y'all yeah, know I love me some Jimmy Choo boots. So, these finally went on freaking sale and they had my size. I'm gonna show let me put these, sh let's put these shoes away because I accept what's going on right now. And if you guys want outfit details, <laughs> this is a Lamarck leather rompa. I've shown this before, um, but this is actually my first time wearing it. I'm gonna wear it today because the weather is pretty cool out. So I got some more kind of like I want to say like riding boots a little bit. I got it from My Teresa. My Teresa always has like a sale here and there. So definitely give them a try. If you haven't shopped at My Teresa, they have pretty fast shipping to me. Um, and they do have a lot of things that actually go on sale. So I'm just going to pull the boots out because one thing I will say about Jimmy Choo is that their, their package, their boot box, it's so dang going heavy. I hope it doesn't fall. I finally got a pair of ivory color boots, guys. Look at these. I hope this doesn't fall. Child, when I tell you, these are awesome. Now, 
The difference between these and the other Jimmy Choo ones is that these are not as tall, of course, because those were like super thigh high. Um, and also this back piece here is a little bit higher than they are on the other boots, if that makes sense. So, and these are size 13. Again, I just come to terms with, I have to wear 13 in these shoes. They feel like a regular 12, in my opinion. Uh, but these are the CC80 boots in the color latte. Um, and what else? Of course, they're made in Italy. The little Jimmy Choo symbol. You can't even really get to see it. I'm going to come back here. They're a beautiful, beautiful color. This is more my color as opposed to wearing like something like super white. Uh, but if I do wear white, you guys know I'm always going to have like my neck out or something like that. But these are, whew, baby, girl. So those are the pieces that I got. Um, I'm going to show you guys a video with these on as well. Just to show you guys how the calf fits on me. Um, I do not, I think I have like a, I'll measure my calf and put it in the description guys for you guys. Hopefully I don't forget. Um, and then give you guys the specs on this. So if you guys do have a smaller, a bigger calf, you may not be able to do it. But it is like a little detail in here. The Jimmy Choo symbol is kind of carved in there where you can't really see it, which is good. But really nice. And it does have like a kind of like a, like a square tip here. Really cute. They're really a nice boot. Really, really, really nice. But that's what I got, guys. I also got nothing crazy, but I'll show you guys. <laughs> Sometimes. I am looking for like little pieces to add to my closet. And one of those pieces was a nice tie. And for whatever reason, your girl was struggling to find a tie at Target. I wanted to get it from Target because I saw that they had a really nice one for the low low and it was thin but they were always sold out. So what I did was I went to H&M. I went to H&M and H&M had a nice tie. And I think this was very, very affordable. Yep, $12.99. $12.99. So I got a cute little tie so I can wear. This is a men's tie, so I'm gonna figure this out and tie it up. <laughs> but it's actually a really good quality. Let me not say it's good quality because it is polyester, but it feels good. <laughs> it feels good. It doesn't feel like cheap or anything like that. It's like 59% polyester and then like 59% recycled, but I think it's actually really nice. I like it. So those are some of the things that I got this first haul this year. I'm excited for spring. There's a lot of beautiful colors coming out for spring and I'll probably do a video on the newest stuff for spring like fashion and stuff for spring and summer um that tall girls could actually wear we already know we cannot wear everything so we do have to be a little bit selective when we are picking things to wear guys that is it for this video thank you guys for tuning into this video make sure you are liking the video and make sure you are subscribing to the channel i am trying to take my channel to the next level this year with the help of you guys I know it can happen, but thank you guys for tuning in. I will catch you guys in the next one. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my style blog, you guys know that style blog is, it's for tall women, but I am gonna be adding some more lifestyle stuff to it. Just things that I actually do in my day-to-day -day life, like eating healthy and having fun guys. So make sure you are checking out the blog, Coco Styles NYC and my style services, Coco Styles NY. And I'm on tickety tickety talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.